In 1834, Harriet travels to United States. Harriet arrives in New York and she stays in America for two years. In 1835 November, Harriet gives statement against slavery at the Boston Female Anti-Slavery Society. In 1837, Harriet publishes one of the earlier sociological studies using analytical method. In 1838, she writes a travelogue and also she writes articles for journal. In 1839, Harriet travels to the continent to examine the Italian setting of some Shakespeare's play. And in this year, her beloved brother dies. In 1840, she moved to Tynemouth, just down the river from Newcastle. In 1841, Harriet's collection of children's story is published. In 1844, Harriet undergoes a course of hypnotherapy. In 1845, she moved to Amberside. In 1846, she decided to tour near East. In 1851, she argues for freedom and rationality rather than strict discipline. In 1852, Harriet became a staff writer in the Daily News. She contributes to the Westminster Review. In 1855, finding herself suffering from heart disease, Harriet begins writing her autobiography and obituary. In 1866, she joined with other prominent women writers. In 1869, she helps found the National Association for the Repeal of the Contagious Disease Act. In 1876, Harriet dies of bronchitis at her home in Amberside, which is known as the Knoll. She is buried in family grave in Keyhole Cemetery, Birmingham. Created using Powtoon.